because forget all this bullshit. If you just see the outside line of the cap, picture the cap and picture the circle. So you just get the pump, you slide it through, and you fucking put it as a lid, and then just put an L bracket here to hold that fucking thing here, like here. Yeah, little L bracket, either one or two, whatever. Yeah, screw. And screw going this way, right? Because what I'm thinking is like to make a little baffle, a little something, so if you hit a bump, all the fuel doesn't fucking come out, right? Is that even necessary? Not really, right? But it would be nicer. Yeah. That that would be the pool. Like I said, how could you make this any better? Right. That's what I'm saying. I, if I can make this little dimension, picture a lid. Forget all this shit. Just a lid with two holes. The hole for the pump and the hole for this thing to center it. That's it. So it lays on this lip all around. This little hole. Maybe that's where I put the bracket. So it's just the mean the bracket covers it. Like that. Well, no, I gotta do the bracket here because it's flat. I just drill two holes, put an L bracket, and it's just gonna hold it there. That's it. Done. I thought about cutting it in so the plate can go inside, so it really can't splash out, but that's unnecessary. Yeah, bro. And actually, you gotta, you gotta have some to get in, too. Well, I do. It, it has its own mechanism. This is a factory shit, remember? Yeah. When you do a little plunger, as soon as you're not going to, it's feeding. As soon as it's running low, it's gonna block. Either way, it returns on top of the fucking filler. When this thing is mounted to height, it's done. It's like right there. So it's not bottomed out, it's like right off, right there. Even if it was here, this whole bucket's gonna be full all the time. And no matter which way you turn, one of them's gonna be grabbing. I think that- Yeah, it's, it's good because it's, it's constantly gonna be- have a Submerged. Pump, a submerged and pump. being done. I put that shit on there on purpose. So that shit just dumps right on top of the fucking feed. I don't see how that could be bettered. I don't know. I think yeah. that's it. That's it. I think that's as good as it could be gotten with the plastic piece. And the ring that holds it down holds it like here. Perfect. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna triple check now. Well, I wanted to do this before I put it in there. All right. Okay. All right. So the first nut is um, it's in that tray. Front of home. Oh, you see no, no, no. I gotta get out of here. Yeah. We both tap on it at the same time. No, no, this is closable, but you just need to extend it with longer teeth. This is nil. So we need to make our it well but extended. I thought it was bolted on, it's not though. Obviously this was CNC. Right now we get the file. X plus ten millimeter. Done. Print another one. But don't get crazy. When you do what I'm saying here, then that cutaway hole, you'll only be able to tighten it in certain clockings because you'll be hitting the opening of the frame. So no need to get excited, people. No need to get excited. Screwdriver and a hammer. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, tell her. I'm gonna tell her next time I see her, I need more height. I've taken many of those off I that mean, way. Like, we already planned on some sabotagery shit like this to happen. That's why we got we gotta keep a good fucking Cuban on it right now and make it make it work. Oh, here we go. Oh, it smells good in here though. I wish I could live in here. Good thing Carlos doesn't smoke anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be on up in flames. <laughs> I like that jet ski. <laughs> All right, I need a non-flammable light up in here. <laughs> what happened? It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting tired of this shit. You're too good, man. I'm fucking getting tired of getting good at this shit. You're defying Murphy. Fuck What, will the hammer and screwdriver? Probably. 
Nah, man. You just tap it on, tap it tight. Shemacon! <laughs> Bitch slap you with my fucking hose. <laughs> Huh. It's a slight conundrum. There's no way to do this shit without fucking reinventing a few wheels here. A little more friendlier persuasion, I see. Yeah. Come on now, get out. Stop first. You flatten the land. So now, to answer your question, if somebody sits here, it's going to be pushing on the plate, not on the tank or any of the fittings or nothing. But it would touch if somebody put pressure on it. But now, it's perfect. I can hear it. Joy to the world. I won't rest until I break some type of towel. <laughs> I'll my ten and a half in the new socket here. Oh. That's right before it breaks. I can tell. No, nah, well, it's wrong. We need a clamp, a thing, uh, drill this. I need my six, and I need both my ends. Well, you sure did resolve the fuel system problem pretty fast. <laughs> I only need to do it like four times and then I get a good fizz spin on it. <laughs> Crank one of these out every 20 minutes. Well, if you had a new assembly, yeah, because you're gutting it and you're just replacing it with all the goods. And then with this particular, did I tighten this? <laughs> this didn't even go around here? Not quite. I need to tighten this. I got all excited. It's kind of
kind of hard to keep the, the the processes here because you can't do one thing before another. Like here, I have to tighten this thing down and clamp it down as hard as it needs to be before I can even put this little clamp in here because as you can see, there's no room yeah. to tighten this little um, pressure, pressure clamp. I'm trying to just... First date sauce. It's just some girls. Oh, what the hell? Oh shit, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Put the magic sauce away. <laughs> We're ready for insertion. Huh? We're ready for penetration. This one was it? No, it was this way. No, it was this way. Damn, which way was it? Okay, it was that way. Yeah. No, it ain't. The cables have to go this way. All right, hang on. much but
I'm missing a spring. <laughs> There's different Boshes though. Yeah, There's that pancake Bosch that has the fucking uh, insert, the, the strainer just like this, not inline. You're using an inline pump and putting it inside a tank. That's, it works, but it's not as compact. I'm telling you, there's a Bosch, that, that half pump, inch. That pump there, like the one that I got in the Miata, that has a wide motor on the bottom. I haven't seen it. Those things are fucking strong. I just don't know how the hell they can claim all that uh, G GPM through that little outlet. You gotta see which one's power first. But whatever, even even if that side is not connected, you'll get fuel pressure because the one side will be feeding. And even though that side is not connected, it'll still can maintain the tank levels because it's returning to both sides, regardless. So, I can pick up all this shit, I'm done with all this. So, yeah, 100% it's gonna work. Oh, fuck, a thousand. There's nothing to fucking posture or fucking guess or fucking nothing there. Well engineered. The only thing, yeah, the only thing you could do there is change the volume of the pumps, but the pumps fit. Those little pumps fit now. So if you get a bigger volume pump, it don't matter. You got nothing to do. Just open it up, pull it out, take one off, put the other one on. It has the same plug. Everything is straightforward. Yep. The only thing that's missing is that baffle. Again, you just open it up. We're missing the baffle. We're missing to fix the key. Make the key an inch taller. That's it. We cut that. We extend it, we put it on there, two C-clamps, one left, one top to bottom, one side to side, and we re-tack it, weld it, you have your new, yeah. your new tool. This is a... Stand, it's aluminum. Just cut it and stack it, it up it. one inch. Put a little insert in there. Put it with the cap back on, clamp it from the sides, clamp it from the top to keep pressure on it, that's it. Tack it, tack it, tack it, beat it, done. One inch, a little one inch uh, piece of quarter inch. It'll be done. But for now, whatever. I mean, we could get by now, but I need to make that. This is already done. All I gotta do is extend. I'm gonna see what size cable it is to the fuse box and extend uh, a power from one side to the other to the other pump and just put a five amp higher um, fuse and see if that will hold. See how that works out. You if know, it works out, we can get away with I it. I was popping the, uh, the fuse to the ECU on the Miata when I had this plug with all those issues when i went to two um two two two, two posts, posts yeah two, two posts, posts with yeah. isolators yeah never had another problem right but again here we got one pump and <sighs> one bottle we got a bottle per pump you got two pumps and one bottle right. so go through this plastic i'm sorry to you, it's just they, they don't make this like they used to <laughs> now it's just a piece of plastic that a machine inserts a hot. They don't make anything like that. Well, this is designed to, to be put on there maybe once in its life. It's designed Nobody told you to plug it in 55 times? What's that word? Um, well, designed obsolescence? Yeah. Designed <laughs> obsolescence. Yeah. 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 Well, you you're not going to take more than three turns at 100% power anywhere on Earth. <sighs> I don't give a fuck where you think you are. Like. Unless it turns 500 to fucking 500 feet radius, there's no fucking wide open turn on Earth in no gear. Maybe first. I did two this afternoon. Yeah, that was like not <laughs> even a turn. You were, you were in a turn. The street was perfectly straight. <laughs> That's the difference. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Like uh, you're gonna go wide open in one gear and just go wide open to another and just stay on it through the whole fucking gear. No, it's like you're deliberately doing that, but actually taking the turn, it's never gonna happen. At all. Why not just just use oil. corn oil? You, ethanol is made out of corn. You said you said you have to use oil with ethanol. Yeah. Well, you have to use oil with gas anyway, too, right? Yeah, but I mean more. You know, as a as a as a, as a protective measure on all vehicles. When you use E85, like flex fuel vehicles, they advise you to use some kind of a uh, ash additive, fuel additive, because the E85 is corrosive. That's why all flex fuel cars, fuel system is basically stainless steel. <coughs> rubber is, is fine. The best rubber fuel line to use is the Teflon type, you know, that has the internal stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, aluminum parts, E85 will eat that shit like, like there's no tomorrow. So hose was definitely a good idea to go front to back for fuel here, with especially E85, because if we'd use that aluminum tube, we have been fucked for 85. Yeah, but you know, it, it was like I was reading, um, just trying to find some infor information and, you know, people that, that live in the north, that they put the cars away for the winter, um, that run flex fuels, you know, they're talking about 
emptying them out and, and that right because Ford, it becomes a major issue yeah that Ford recommends on their F-150s to empty it out and run 20 gallons of gasoline for a mineral 20 minutes before they park it for a long period yeah. of time and you know this kid when he did the electrical system on the on the Miata he had that car for a year with FNL sitting there yeah, yeah. And that, but that's here that's not there yeah, true. the conditions here are much different true but I mean I, I don't know that the the cold or the, or the well the shit freezes when it freezes it probably yeah. separates the fucking water and here the water gets a chance to evaporate maybe i don't know i'm, I'm sure methanol what's your shit mitts is? hey let's leave that like leave this out? yeah so i'm gonna get some bolts and put on put them on a right there, right there. put it on a lemon stand tomorrow i'm wanting to do it Got it all figured out. And roll it out and uh, clean it. The gritty thing, look at $41. And they're digital. They tell you the voltage and the, at the sensor, and they tell you uh, a digital signal. Plus the Once analog. they change colors, yeah, any color you want. Cheap, cheap, and they don't look cheap. No, because everybody knows these things are cheap as fuck. I had them like ten years ago. I'm like, Google. They sold the set for like eighty dollars. These exhaust, yeah, glow shift. Okay. Gotta do something here about this. I'm just gonna go with a Bosch connector, because you see it's two wire. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what it is. This is. One wire. <laughs> Let's take a look at that. One wire. No, well, I guess that means I only have to use one wire now. <laughs> Did I get the wrong piece? <laughs> no, this is a 93 sensor. That's what you needed, right? right. To fit the other this, sensor is different. To f well, it has to fit that opening, too. Of course. That's why the sensor has to be to the oil pan. That's why the oil pan is an extra problem. Every little corner of it. Yeah, we got to make pan. our own oil pan. Because this is not sensitive. Like, obviously, they had two wires. What do you think the two wires were doing? Creating voltage? No. They were just touching once that thing emptied out. Or the opposite. It was, it was open already, and it closed when it was filled. Either way, it's, it's something else to address. And that's all I'm saying. Like, every piece has something to address. So. Until you fabricate a piece from nothing, that's when all the problems will be fully addressed a bull. Right. So like an average human, you know, opening yeah, up a box. because cutting this and welding it to make that fucking screw fit. You had to fit. fix the oil pan first. <laughs> then you had to make this. Obviously, we worked with one that was originally to this, so both of them had to get fixed. And then now this. So there's three things to deal with, and you still don't have volume, and it's still a sheet metal pan, and it still required a little bit of, you know, a little level of intelligence and experience on a Mazda, which a lot of people might not just have coming out of the box. You know? That's that's my concern. Because this is only sending back a ground signal, obviously. There's no power down here. So when you ground is when it closes or opens the circuit, correct? On a one wire. Yeah. On a two wire, obviously they they do this when it you know it's it's normally closed and when it, it loses oil it opens the circuit. But here the circuit only opens on a, on a ground on a single wire. So what I'm thinking is I just need to go to the black on this one, but I need to test it. And that's what I'm asking. I think I, I only need to use one of these because only, one of these is ground already and the other one allows it to happen when the sensor activates. In the RX-8 version. But in this one, this one just sends you to the ground. When this thing clicks, you just click ground to this wire. I got an RX-8 oil pan. Thanks. I appreciate you. Hold on my calls, please. Hello? How are you? Oh, that's not it. Bitch. Who are you? Are you looking for? No, you can hear me. The, that box of connectors.
this shit on the other electrical fucking nightmares left in there. We got plenty of hose. We like hose. Fucking black, <laughs> black hose. Alright. You got clamps for the hose. For your hose. Don't, of need, course. don't need handcuffs. We got clamps. <laughs> an, an 11 inch black. Black uh, 11 inch. <laughs> in season. Tie wraps. That's right. Keep your clamps together at all fucking times. Right. Just facilitate my life, if you will. Oh, oh you got a land cable in here? <laughs> you know oh, shit. Let's hook up the miners. You're fucking mining in the trunk? Full touch my wire! Hey, um, <laughs> Tell me, that's a, that's the older strong. you get, the more often that happens. It's strong, bro. It's just strong, man. Is this some important wire of yours? Bridge no, master? No. Oh, but we can use this for uh, <laughs> sure. a <laughs> <laughs> surprise. I just No, because I went and I got so no, it can't take the pressure that you could really take advantage can, of, can right, provide. Deliver. However, that, though, however, wait, stop for a quick, second. It's a quick response. Okay, forget all that. I, I have all types of magical miracles for shit like that. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But here's the thing. See, yeah, it doesn't work on a traditional engine, but how much air are you adding with your fucking over-the-top plumbing? Some ridiculous shit. That would tolerate those types of flows and pressures, or still it's a pressure no, the issue. Problem, the problem is the O-ring. O-ring? The O-ring between the side housing and the, and the side plates. That's the problem. It will not sustain that pressure? The way to get around that would be to machine a, just like they do on... on V8s. On V8s or six... A wire lock. Sleeve, a wire yeah, lock. A wire lock, basket, yeah. A wire lock. To make sure that the oh, air so so the actual water jacket, ceiling gasket or the, the ring. That's the, the, inner. the inner. Well, obviously, if the, if the inner one goes, the outer one will go yeah, as well. The right. The inner one is the problem. Okay, but nobody's come up with that because these fuckers. Let me tell you something. These these Japanese guys, they had the shit delivered back in the '60s. Not delivered, but uh, they had it thought of. They they thought of everything. I've been hanging on to these things. Forever and ever and ever. I love starting these conversations. <laughs> uh, okay. What was it? That 12 inch set? Yes, I had that. You showed you showed me some really weird shit one time. This, this is something like the early so many weird things. gasket kits. And back then. But this right, right. You were supposed to put that in to pr it, it, to protect the inner O-ring on only the hot side, right? Correct. Or right, Correct. single only sided, that. right? Right. These fuckers already knew about that. What is in, that? That's what type of material is that? Some type of alloy? This is, no, this is it's not some, aluminum. Some stainless steel that has a shape like this. But they already knew. They already, they already knew. knew what they the just started, problem was. They developed it to the max, and then they said, "Oh, we don't they need this." They off because that, it, then know? it wouldn't fail. Exactly. <laughs> but the same kind of thing would have to be done all the way around with a groove on both the rotor housing and the side plates so that it would be 
clank. You know what I'm saying? The same right. way. Right. It, it would have to be inner and outer laminated. Two right. sides. Right. Boom. That's it. Wow. That'll be so fresh. And then, and then a little wider so that they crush. And what is this for? Yeah. Running 60 pounds of boost? 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100 or more. To be able to run major, major boost. Um, back then, I like how that sounds. back then, they even knew what all these fucking uh, uh, Puerto Ricans are doing, you know, for drag, the drag racing guys. Uh, they put the extra dial pins and stuff like that. Right. Some of those, I've got some rubber houses that have an extra dial pin hole with an O-ring. As if it was to have one. That's how they came stop. Right, so that's maybe where that idea came. Eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. Shit, it wasn't necessary. There used to be a, a tensioner on the... On the chain? On the chain. Or the oil. On the oil. I remember Real, that. Yeah. Ancient. No, no way with that. that. Yeah, and it slapped it's like and it slapped, they, but it's they, not... They, they built it so Basic. perfect that, the yeah. first time around yeah. that they started saying, okay... We, we don't, don't even need this. this. We, we don't, don't even need that. We don't even need none of this. Yeah. It was too good to begin with. Too right. over, overly engineered or yeah. whatever. They tried anyway, to keep the like, legacy alive. They tried to be German. Like, you have no fucking idea. But but let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. If we made... The outer, the outer diameter, and the inner diameter, and hear me, uh, a, a more primitive way, like just cut it, like let's say it was a strip, like say 16th inch or eighth inch wide, right? Thin, flat strip, long, like a roll, right? You know, all the way around. Yeah, all the way around, jam it in there all the way around on both sides, then cut it like at an angle, you know, like just cheat it. You know, and glue it. The same way they do the, the, uh, the, the inner. Right. Thing. You've seen the way it's done, it's an overlap. Yes, they cut. When I did my wire lock on my on my Pinto motor, turbo, that's how they said to do it. And I was like, wow, I don't like this at all. It worked well. It works. It works. The thing is, the machine's like this big and it has a left pedal and a right pedal. I need half inch by half inch. It rolls beads. So you just put it in there and you roll a bead. It bends pipe. It has the dies, it's three circles. And you change the thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's and badass, it. yeah. And then you have another tightener up here, and it has a measuring. It's all digital. It's just like it's well, it's not cheap. It's like five grand, but it, it does square, like rectangular channel. You know, like I not see it. I not just. Look, look, look. look, those are the profiles, right? What is that? It's an angle strip, right? Yeah. And this is an angle strip with a fucking brace, right? Block. Mm -hmm. An RW block block with. The whole front RX-8. Okay. I manufactured a special so you're counterweight. Using the, you're using this, this, you manufactured the counterweight? A counterweight and balanced it. So, so Why? The, the, Why was that necessary? Because the, the RX-8 front cover and, and, and balance, counterbalance, will not go on the RX, on the REW block. It's, it'll, it'll bolt up. The bolt pattern is the same, but it's just not deep enough. Okay. Because of the side exhaust port of the RX-8. Anyway, it's a bitch and a half. But by doing that, then everything looks like RX-8. The, the pulley system is RX-8, the air conditioner is RX-8, everything, the water pump, the, the OMP pump, everything, everything, everything is RX-8. Excuse my ignorance, what's the advantage over an REW setup in the front? An REW, it, it, other, whoa, other than the engine mounts, I know the engine mounts Losing, are losing all the, the work of the car, like the traction control, the ABS. Oh, but you're the, using the factory computer? Yeah. Thank you, back. We're, we're, we're the still factory computer. it? With a yeah. an electronic piggyback that goes on it, which captures the engine function, but leaves the factory piggy, uh, computer running the rest of the car. You don't end ABS, up with a race car. A, you know, electronic power, that, electronic yeah. power steering, all the yeah. all the, the good shit out of the car. Yeah. You yeah. know, in doing the traction control will actually it's control big. the throttle body and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 At any power level, which I, I think is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Not everybody's car is ready. No, 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 no. <laughs> It'll get away from you, especially in conditions. Especially if you don't want to drive. Crazy, exactly. May redesign the whole front. Put the put the the, uh, the, the radiator in the front. Mm -hmm. And uh, the intercooler in the bottom. The no, the, the, um, the AC condenser in the bottom, and the intercooler goes right here, okay. right here. That's and then it's got that called. duct that goes like that and goes to Forced the intercooler. Induction. A V or High straight? pressure. No, no, no. Everything everything is 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 stacked like <clears> how we do it on race cars. No V back. So it's not, the air is not going to have to make abrupt changes. It's going straight through. And when that duct work is in, mm -hmm. every component, be it the uh, the turbocharger, which goes right here, has the intake there, the uh, condenser, the the intercooler, the radiator, everything has its, its own dedicated duct for airflow. 
the right way. It swell in, big out. When this is all put together, it looks like grab, factory. just like grab, factory. grab that thing just to show them. If I could. <laughs> no, no, don't worry about it. In a small box as part of shipping. So what I want to do oh, is... You're trying to, you're trying to set this up for kit. a full-on kit. Yes. Drop in, kit. plug and play, kit. out the door. So yeah. to make the kit, what, it, what is it that you actually have to manufacture? Oh, yeah, a, a bunch of shit. The, okay, so you did have <laughs> to the, manufacture a bunch of shit. The, 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 the engine mount to the Cross chassis. Member kit. Okay. The custom counterweight and front cover of RX-8 modification. The, uh, the the mounting of the air conditioner, which is just a little a little piece, a little bracket. Part that, of it goes to the RX-7 engine, that's why. Uh, fabricated an exhaust manifold, turbocharger, intercooler, radiator kit. It's hard to see, <laughs> but when you look at that, at that box, mm -hmm. where you see the wood section, mm -hmm. that's the air that comes just for the intercooler. You have, you have the, uh, the um, exhaust manifold on the it's engine? On it. It's on yeah. it, it's on it. All right, yeah. you can see here. Yeah, I see the turbo manifold. Yeah, that that manifold there, I custom built, made a jig for it, so they're all the same. Mm -hmm. Anybody to light? I left my phone somewhere. Mine's in my car. But I can see it. I can see it. Anyway, now the the these chassis come with these giant fucking holes right here. Mm -hmm. So there, there's enough room for a big turbo. So you're gonna make it. It fits out. right there. All the uh, no, it fits forward. It fits forward. Yeah, forward. then uh, everything the, the fits the turbo, like so tight. The yeah. turbo dumps. The dump from the turbo to the intercooler is that long. Yeah. The intercooler is right there, and from the intercooler to the throttle body is that long. Because the, the, the intercooler is going right here. Right yeah. there. Like right across. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 All exactly. across here. And then the so dump, I was trying to explain to since this thing has separate entrances, this yeah. is the, the, the radiator. This is the intercooler. intercooler. This is the, the AC condenser. Um, the intake to the turbocharger. Okay. And this is the intake to the fans. Okay. And you don't need a vented hood or anything? Well, no. you don't need it. Would it would work better. Be nice. yeah. It would be nice. But, yeah. but for a kit, you don't need yeah. it. Not necessarily, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, imagine <laughs> the, the speed that's, that, you know, is, is being accelerated through that box just impacting that turbo. Yeah, because you're, you're going to be big from big to small. Yeah. Yeah. It's got nowhere to go. Yeah, it's got nowhere to go. So it's, it's, really, it's really, you know, very well packed, very well presented, everything is... is I, like it. I think it'll run good here in Florida. I think it'll run too cold in places yeah. like... Yeah, up north. I've always loved the RX-8, I just thought it's underpowered. It's, oh, yeah, it's that's the, the only problem. But it's they big. underpowered it in a way that it's hard to retrofit. They handle a race. Yes, you can, you, I've, driven, oh, yeah. I've driven a few, including the automatics, which is... And I was too very... Rapid. I was like, it's a nice car. Braking and steering? And the interior is modern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was like just like, cap. <laughs> just no, no wheels. No nuts, no nuts. Yeah, yeah. Nothing there. And it doesn't need that much. Because it comes with what, 250 officially? What is it to yeah. the wheels, like 180? 180. 180 if you got a good one. You got a good <laughs> one. If you got a good one. So this car with 300 to the wheels, oh my guys, God, is a nice car to drive. Yeah. Reliable. And, and survivable. And it should have some longevity at that power range. Yeah, the 300 to yeah. the wheels is... The problem with the original trying. engine is it doesn't work in any condition. You can no. even stock has got a problem. You could try to put a little exhaust, you're going to develop a problem sooner. Really? You could overhaul it and you just flip the hourglass. Then what? It's still a piece of garbage and with no nuts. And they're expensive as hell to... To, to do that, to, to do rebuild. all of the above, yeah. As compared to the previous ones. Because the rebuild on these things required a lot of parts. Five to ten grand. Yeah, the side housings. Yeah. That's the side housings. Seldom can you re, uh, uh, re, 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 well, hardly ever re, 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 resurface them. It's, it's, it's it, you know, it's a really well, well, well thought out. We've been working on this thing. This, this could have, if we would have worked nonstop on it. It's a car that Mazda could have made. Yeah, yeah I, that's, exactly. that's what everybody that's, says. Those engine work, selection, absolutely. That's, yeah. This engine should have been Look in how here. How nice the, uh, the radiator cap is yeah seals perfect you don't have to move shit move plastic you know bleed Put it closes that, right. you know wait until it gets hot burp it none of that yeah. crap right just there. fucking fill it up right there bro. no you keep all the factory electronics which is huge yeah, yeah. just yeah. keeping so as far as keeping the car because it's a lot of car. Yeah. Believe me, start disconnecting. Yeah, you know what I mean? Car. When you put the key in and everything is there tailored to you, you don't realize how much is working for you. When you grab that, throw that away, put some other alternator, <laughs> put some other <laughs> air compressor, put some other hose, whatever. It becomes you pop the hood to work on. Yeah. Now you got toggle switches, now you got relays that are, you know, yeah. yeah. Not very streetable. No. I want ABS. So basically, I want, you know, so this is yours. No, no, no. This, this is, is the shop. Oh. This is this is the, the, the demonstration okay. car. Okay, it's a prototype. Right. So we're gonna sell a kit. 
by either a complete kit or by sections. Like if, you know, say that you have, uh, a, you know, an engine, mm -hmm. but you're gonna need the counterweight, the mounting kit, uh, the radiator kit and the uh, exhaust manifold for the turbocharger. You can put any turbo you want. Yes. Somebody else may say, I want everything, just bolt on. Right. Somebody else may just um, want pick a race certain car things. Or, or yeah. I have, I've had people how say, long how long will it take you to build me an engine? Just the engine. How long did it take you to get to this level where you're at now? Well, we've been, it's two years, but we've been just, you know, comiendo mierda por aquí, por allá, you know. Yeah, I don't know time here. Yeah, engineering you know, and shit. It's that's like, what, that's you can make a part, and it's like, wow, it it's, the part looks beautiful, but it's not going to work. This is the next problem now. So that engineering process yeah. has an unknown time. But it's, we went, we went it's like eight right. months sure. nonstop on it, and then shit happened. And life happens. <laughs> Hurricanes. When, you, when you're trying to get from A to Z, you got to go A, B, C, D, the whole way. Uh, this is going to be the full alphabet. The, the, the water, the radiator. No, I like uh, the lines are going to be, yeah. that's how you're going to get it. That's nice. Yeah. Not, not even going to try, although we could try to make, get, make these things out of rubber, but no. no. You're going to get that. No, that's perfect. No, that, on this engine, with and I wouldn't even put V-bands like, or anything yeah, like that. No, 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 no something best. simple and that affordable you, and stainless. And it's just I don't know proven, if I have proven. any pictures of the turbo. I, I've seen millions of turbos. No, 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 no. How this, I'm not talking about the turbos. I'm not how it fits. No, we also like retrofitted some of the factory parts, like the fuses. We just cut, chop, and just obliterate, obliterate stuff. I just isolated certain things to add on, but everything still works like factory, and it's still triggered through the factory computer. As far as uh, theft, it's a very important thing to leave that factory computer because it won't work. It's very it. difficult to steal this car. Believe me. Even even having computers and flashing, it, it the car's pretty ridded with problems for anti theft. So maintaining that computer is a little annoying because of all the, all the things that it requires to, to maintain. But it's worth it. Out of curiosity, yeah, this is me playing devil's advocate. Yeah, would if you were to put let's say a Haltech Platinum there, you know, and replace the factory system, could, could that be done? Yeah, and not have to do. Half of this stuff? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we, uh, we electronically, that. yes. Mechanically, no. Because that only solves electronic issues. Like, you'll get running. Uh -huh. You're not going to get flying. You're not going to get tacked. You're not going to get some of these gauges working. Really? Yeah. They won't work. Yeah, okay. they're in different ranges. That's why you lose the car. Like, the cars, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but you, that, you lose the finesse. Like, you end up with something more crude. I don't want to get in something 2010 plus and deal with anything that's not like already digested for me or tuned to my liking, you know? Basically, the idea is to get in there and have the same exact car that you thought you were going to get. Well, uh, 200 more horses. Well, not only that, but you could have like a setup where you could have like even a learner key or a different program. So if you valet, you know, they're not going to come back. You're not going to have spun rotors. You're not going to have spun bearings. They're like, oh man, I parked it in the front for you. Yeah, after you went like five blocks yeah, around. We put the red line at yeah, 3,000 know, RPM. Just little things that if you put whatever, you know, and that, and if we do this computer, it'll be blocked. So you take it home. If you paid to be able to play with your stuff and you're yeah, apt to do you that, can you can. It. But if, if it's not, it should last a million years because it was engineered to do such. <laughs> I think that's where the extra money is going. Just to get in something that should have been plug and play from the get. No, this is beautiful. The other option I had, I thought for a little while was when I seen a couple. No, two oh. J. Oh, two J. Yeah. yeah. I was even a different even, motor. Even a one. Even a one. Even a one J will get it done. Yeah. Even a one J. I just you know I bleed Mazda, so that hurts me to do stuff like this. <laughs> I, I understand. As much as I hate I, them I all so equally, I've bled so many Mazda engines. <laughs> yeah. That I'm like, Man, it's, yeah. It gets Where does old. it end? Where does it end? Yeah, the infinite question. Now. Now, I have I have not enjoyed the revolution of the eighty five because that's I pretty much left the left it there left it there as it was getting good yeah and at that point you know yeah things have changed a and lot I for also the engine. I built my car I overbuilt my car I should have done it for a lot less power Alex that's I, never a bad thing that's I, not a bad you know, thing when you try to I beat on that Miata I believe it but on the eighty five. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, That's yeah. what you said. You haven't got. Let me. I didn't get something. to enjoy that. Yeah. I beat yeah. on that thing with my hands standing up, like to break it. <laughs> and you don't just <laughs> give it more. The eighty-five. Go. The eighty-five so, is is fucking. We'll tolerate that. Yeah. It's you know the fuel of the gods it's for the new, rotary. It's, the new, yeah. it's better than C sixteen and everything. Yes, well, without a doubt. And it runs so much cooler. Every, a doubt. I've, I've actually thought of getting an old GSL. Not yeah. a first gen. Yeah. An uh, old GSL. And doing up a, um, a suck through kit, not a blow through kit, a suck through kit with the 85. 
Tell me that would be fine. It would work. Oh, yeah. Tell me that would work. You'd be beating on that thing? You don't have to worry about it. I'll, 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 oh, I think it would probably ice the car too much. Uh, turbocharge? Yeah. That would destroy the wheels. On the, uh, on the turbo? Yeah. No, you can buy turbos for that. You can buy yeah. turbos designed to run fuel through them. Really? Yeah. They used to, the, the old, the, the old Rage is. The old Rage is all designed to run fuel through them. Jeez. At 30 and 40. It's not going to run, it's not, it's not gonna run that kind of power. By the time power. that Rage A pumps enough hair drying power to need 40 pounds of fuel, that wheel will not look different 30 that, passes later. My very first turbo on that uh, red white body I had was does, a Rage A. Does the E85 create electrolysis? So you can spin an aluminum wheel at 150,000 uh, RPM and you, spray man, what, fuel what on I, it and it won't like disintegrate the wheel. What I saw in those inserts just last night, I didn't really like. I haven't, I've been... Bro, stop, stop your pitching. Technology is here. <laughs> well, that's what's they, got, they got a small bucket of coatings that'll turn the frown upside down. I think the trick is going to be to chrome that section. Play, uh, 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 coating, the coating issue, man. That's the least of anybody. So Dude, I had a guy tell me one time, hey man, you're into cars, can you, I have wheels, um, you're into powder coating, you know, can you do some powder coating? So I was like, yeah, I know a guy, I'm gonna go reach out. So I know Joe from Bullseye, so I tell him, hey, can we powder coat these wheels? He's like, yeah man, what color do you want? I said, oh, let's just try black, let's just see black. But I'm, listen, I'm not here for the colors, I'm here for the penetration. I'm here to see, see the product work, correct. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, sure, they gave me an HRE center. The guy brings it, some Amazing. fucking cocky motherfucker. He's like, will it take a hit? I was like, I don't know, you have an extension? Like, like, can you hit the wheel? And like, will the thing stay on there? Uh -huh. Listen, I have fucked up that whole HRE center and I couldn't believe it. It was getting dented and it was dented black. We're talking about aluminum 6061. I was, that day I was sold on that shit. <laughs> so I made getting back to your question. One of my intakes I powder coated and- It never, it never, it never came out. It's, it didn't it was, come out good? It has to stick good. That's why some yeah. people try to put too much on there, and it's all. That's what I mean. Like, and it was a silver powder coat. Mm. But I, I colors, have, colors make I have the coating. Intakes. Man, I was scared. Like I was like, I couldn't. The intercooler on the turbo. Yes, the motherfucker keeps turning. Don't worry about that. I guess. <laughs> I, I, I see that's what, what a mean. smartphone uh, does. Uh, that that is the outlet from the turbocharger mm -hmm. to the intercooler. Mm -hmm. Is that one? Mm -hmm. This is from the turbo going forward, which has a dedicated. That's a feed line for the turbo. Yeah, your intake. And that's your you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a. <laughs> that's true. Like that's, that's your Xanax, your Viagra. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Right, like, yeah, I like that. That's what I'm going to have to use from now on. Blood pressure, yeah. Anyway. Um, and those are your two lines. But, and that's the original RX-8 belt setup. Um, so everything, I've lost, I lost in, in transferring pictures from the other phones to this one, 1500 pictures, which I had some with everything built. It, it, when it's all put together, dude, it looks it's like, like it factory. Yeah. It looks like factory. Okay. Get the puzzle, get the fight the Little. Reassembling, because we, we made doubles of everything so that we didn't get stuck with all the original parts in the prototype car. That that's the last uh, the last icing that's being delayed right now. Fuel system is getting connected, and all the parts are the last original parts that's are getting another, put back on. That's another thing we have yeah. to create, make a return line. Create a fuel system. Create a real with, fuel system. Yeah. Pumps on both sides. So you have um, feed, return, regulator, regulator, two pumps. Because the original system is only a feed. It doesn't dead have head, a return, right? Head, yeah. Correct. Yeah. It has a it has a feed and has a breather. <laughs> a breather. Not a lot of new cars out, but those are not powerful cars. Right. And they're designed to break as well. Yeah. You didn't put um, a what is it called? Not a slosh tank. Um, search tank. A search tank. Yeah. This Catch can. No. What do you mean for the? It's not necessary. Need it, oh no! With pump Both inside pumps each tank. Yeah. Inside one on each side of the tank. The tank is, is like that thing at the bottom that goes like that. You know how it is. Yeah. No, so I'm not in these cars. I don't know nothing. You about got this. a saddle on this side and a saddle on that side. So and you only had one pump and then it had to have Mickey Mouse transfer thing. So we put so a there. pump on a pump on each side. And they both feet? So both the wide eye? Yeah. And they both check valves, so it doesn't matter what side you're cornering on. It's, it's technically impossible to Basically, lose Basically, addressing everything the way it should be done and right the fits first in there. time. That tank yeah. is six inches tall <laughs> where, where the pump mounts. No box. But you, in the, and it's inside the tank? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, in the same original housing. Wow. We're going to have all that 3D printed though. No, that's the best. And that's what's good. so you can have like just orifice. You want a dash eight, dash ten, dash two, whatever you want, buddy. It's right there. How many bungs do you want? 
and maintain the factory connector so you don't have to invent, you know. I want to keep a car. I don't want to have a you know, smelly, the, the, fuel the, the original. Which is why I don't And that's what it is. That's what it is. You know, it's actually what I mean. Like, I love the car, but I know what that entails. I, like, I'm I want picky. a car that I can take a woman in yeah, and right. not have to come out smelling like guys. <laughs> like, yeah. I like it. Yeah. I enjoy it. Right. But not it's civilized. It's you need a civilized car. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's what I'm like, shooting for here. Just being here scares me because I'm like, I'm getting drawn back I'm in. I'm getting. <laughs> I'm getting I'm like, no, 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 no. no, no. Look, look, look. It, it's it's what I tell everybody. Th these are no longer cars. They're toys. Yes. Airplanes. Really. They're weekend yes. toys. But these are toys that you guys aviation. No. Yeah. 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 Bitch wants to go out with you. Like I, like she goes out with you. They put the thing down and cruise over town. Yeah. Right? This is not a keyboard entry point. This is a greasy tools ready your battery's dead something's leaking in but that's not what this one's going to be that's why it's taking so this long this is going to be i'm going to buy a stock, yeah. dead stock rc drop off and pick up at 500 at 25 there's pounds. three people that want to just basically drop the car off and have us turn pick it up done and you used to do that yeah, you used, used to do that to, with, your, with your first gen. This guy you used to do those kits and yeah, you used to make used this guy's available well, i'm talking about before there. you like, oh well yeah. i'm talking like yeah. the 80s <laughs> yeah you know He's, he's, he's not sometimes. I'm sorry, he's not that long. And Richard can't do mechanical work. Um, Who says, man? Says no. Why are you dissing me like that? <laughs> <laughs> I can turn a wrench. I can't rebuild an engine, but I can turn a wrench. You <laughs> um, can order a pizza like nobody's business. Everybody's got to have and, their department. And yes. dude, I can't do it all. You know, it's a lot of work. It does. It's worse, a lot of work. Back then, there were no computers. Back then, yeah. if you wanted to work, nobody had access to you yeah. unless they came to the shop. Yes. Now, they're on your phone, yes. on your computer, on your text, on your this, on your that. Out of a fucking 12, 13-hour day, how many hours do you get to actually produce? Oh, Two, maybe three. And it's, not like you, and it's not like you have a shop with 20 employees exactly. that you tell them, oh, yeah. Yeah, delegate, 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 yeah. No. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Realistically... It's um, creating the product that's taking long enough. Now yeah, it's gonna so, be supporting so it. What know? I want to do, what we want to do from day one, the concept was basically to provide anything, and you, either you on the weekends, like people put a kit car together, or you, or you hire your favorite mechanic, say, here, bolt it on, follow the instructions. And the instructions are going to be a fucking like video. That, like the old bolt on turbo kits from right, back in the day. Know? That's it. It's like that, uh, what was it called, the Vader? When I went and visited their shop over in um, Tampa. Tampa. He's like, oh, we don't even have a manual on how to put this car together. And I said, what about YouTube videos? Don't, don't other people film? He's like, don't even don't waste even your time looking at them because it's garbage, you know? Right. It's not like no one's documented time, like we're doing. I mean, every yeah. we've been filming this probably, we're on part 28. So we, we, and each video is like half an hour, an hour long, right. you know? So we documented the build from the it's very live. beginning. You're watching the parts come together live from scraps to the finished product, even prototype parts. Once this thing takes off and it ramps up, most of it will be CNC printed, casted, however it needs to be upscaled. But I mean, that's not the aesthetics portion is a concern, but not only, you know, no. functionality. No. I want the thing to function and not smell and not leak and not make noises and be totally digested. That's that's the real. And at goal. the end, that the block be a regular block. Right, you can choose whatever you want. You want your factory JDM? You could go with your factory JDM. Yeah. You want to go a thousand horsepower uh, semi? Hey, you could do that too. Everything is a footprint of a, tur a twin turbo motor. Yeah. It's pretty much the most functional turbo motor models ever made. Not yeah, by their design, design, but whatever. Those things are great. They really are. That's not to the, say that the you engine's good, the turbo system. So well, I mean, yeah. the way it came, which you know, shit, the parts are good. The block is what's good. The right. Block is good. The block is yeah. good. Yeah. The is shit. <laughs> In a race car, yes. In every. In every do car, what, it's what works better? Well, I got. That's what I got. I got two cars. Oh, the Cosmo. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know the difference between those. Oh, it's three rotor, four rotor, two rotor. <laughs> no, no, even two rotor. The, the, two, the two center I have two two What I mean is it has a three rotor port oh, okay. side yes. um, on the two rotor plate. That's what I mean. So and if you use the stock intake, it has more, a lot more torque and everything right. too. And I, I the only thing I like about better. the weak intake is the valving. Yeah. Because when you progress, at least for something that you don't want to go. Well, I, have a, I, I run a, a 20D throttle body. In my yeah, that has announced the progression on the front. Right. But it's better to have it on the front. I well, you could, but that's again, like, if I want to go <laughs> zero to a thousand, I don't care about, like, how my neck is going to snap. 
That will work yeah, for me work. with nothing. If I want to be the picky little bitch that I want the tires to crack, just you know, going into two pounds of boost, this is what's gonna do that. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's all preference. No, I got an E and J one, but I never put it on. Because uh, I've driven the two, and they both make power. Wide open, they're not gonna feel a difference. But in between, E and J. Wow, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought about it. Thought about and that. I even got the XM. This is better. The lower, the yeah, lower. Yeah, yeah. lower. Excessive. Yeah. Excessive. Yeah. yeah. I think I do. I'm not sure if it's done that one. Yeah, all those but things I make big energy. power. All those things make yeah. big power. Well, I was going to put a 67 on. Actually, I actually had bought a 67 to put on. And since I didn't have the car running, a friend of mine asked me, can I borrow it? It never came back. <laughs> that was the end of the 67. This is back when I had money. And, <laughs> and things didn't matter. And everything right. didn't matter. Things didn't matter so much. Now it's like, bitch, where's my 67? <laughs> you have value or something on it? Me? Not. <laughs> no, no. I, Dude, I'd be over there. Where's my shit? <laughs> Where's my 67? No, no. I lost a lot of money on my Mazda over the years. Who doesn't? I think I, I was going to say every Mazda owner has suffered this symptom initially. Yeah, that's that's why I, I don't want to. If I did, I really, I still love the first gen. If I could oh, do that's... a 1J in the first gen, I'd do it. I would do it. I think that's fucking stupid. I know. Shit. It won't drive the same. That's yeah. the problem. Right. That's but the if, fun if you're going to go that crazy, just fucking put a small block in it. No. LS. LS. LS been it. terrible. Be done. No. Yeah. If, if, if all you care about like, is getting like, that no. fucking smack, getting smacked no. in the back of the head with all no. that torque. No. I like, I like the balance <laughs> of the car. Yeah. I like yeah. the balance of the car. That's why I said, if I was to rebuild one today, it'd be, I told you the other day, 350 horsepower. And leave it alone, yeah. Leave me alone. You nice. know, with this, with a even this with, has a weak tranny. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but, it, but, tranny. It, but it's good for 340. If you take if the you, wheels. You, I don't know about that. that I, you know, we'll find out soon enough. Whether it's <laughs> to the wheels, maybe not, because you're talking probably another 60 more horse. I don't know. Yeah, but the torque is what fucks it's, up. Exactly, and these things are making it look good. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Alex. That's that's a question I don't know. I've had people that because this same transmission is used for the Honda S2000, and yeah. that's a piece of shit too. Yeah, but I've had people tell me that they do pull power. They make four, but that they're four very fifty, five hundred horse. Short, I don't know short with short. who driving or for how long, but yeah, that's also another it's another, a piece of shit. another yeah. But anyway, the, the point is real simple. It's not you, you get a bone no. stock, not at all. No. Ninety three block, JDM block. Put it on there. Hang all the shit on the outside. With yeah, you'll get 400 all day long, and that also depends on yeah. how aggressive the clutch is. 350 yeah. all day long, and idle like a fucking guy, like yeah. and pump gas and everything. It and also everything. depends on the clutch. You put a, a tilt and dual disc on there, and the transmission is going to turn into a napkin. Yeah. Well, <laughs> actually, it, it's like a gun, it, it's not the gun, it's the idiot behind the gun. It's, it's whoever's driving it. It's yeah. how you, how you, well, beat I mean, up on you it. could get away with certain I, things, but certain things are not tolerated. That's why you're <laughs> not. Not it's still alive. It weighs nothing too. You so. know how to kill it. <laughs> Some people don't even know how to handle a feathering. I just tried to. I just touched it. How did you touch it? Ha! <laughs> that was your touch, Jesus. Don't ever touch nothing again, here, please. <laughs> yeah, it's subject to the no, input. You drive it. Drive it like you stole it. Yeah. It was definitely not built for that. But something's gotta come. I mean, it's all money, regardless. Put a six-piece sequential behind that, or the super conversion. <laughs> Yeah, or any actually, other, that, that, that other, other board water a five, conversion. A five-speed super uh, training or six-speed super The only thing is to yeah. convert ZF? that link. What about that uh, 370Z transmission you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, that cheaper one. Can we put ZF one of those in here? Yeah. That's like a new comparable for like two grand. You can buy a brand new one for 1800 bucks. Right, for two grand. And it holds like 1500 horse. Good for 1300 horse. There you go. That sounds like a candidate. There's options. They just that's uh, what all the super guys are doing. They're, they're taking out away their the super, their trainees, super, super trainees, put them aside, putting in these other things. I'll put it aside too if I was selling it for five grand. I'd be like, yeah, let me put this five grand aside and then take <laughs> yeah, man. It's a no brainer, really. I'm gonna go beat the shit out of it, of course. What am I gonna wait? So I fuck up the super train and then that's worth nothing? Looks beautiful, man. Looks like you just came that way. You've always done good work. I've always done good work. You've always taken the time to do the engineering, which almost everybody else either copied you or <laughs> tried to copy you. And imitation is not the best form of philately. It is uh, robbery. Yeah, thievery. <laughs> Intellectual property. That it is. 